Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome to a brand new game in our Let's Play 4X series. We are taking it old school in uh, more ways than one. Uh, our last game was Endless Space 2, a brand new game set in, uh, you know, space, you know, colonies and, and going around from uh, system to system with spaceships and stuff. And now we're going back to a similar type of thing of colonizing new things, but with, uh, with you know, old wooden ships and, and, and you know, muskets and stuff like that. Plus, you know, kind of the old theme of things that this is a fairly old game, actually. <laughs> this, is, this is actually, uh, uh, it says Civilization IV colonization. Uh, what it actually is, is it's a, a remake of the old, old colonization uh, game built on the Civilization IV engine. And of course, Civilization is now on Civilization VI. So this is a couple Civilizations ago as far as the engine is concerned. So hopefully the graphics uh, are, aren't too much of a turnoff and... and uh, we're able to, you know, get some fairly decent quality out of the, the game itself. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump right in here. Uh, it's been years since I've played this game, but I've been kind of aching to play it again. And so it seemed like a, uh, a good enough reason to, to jump back into it uh, after the end of our, our last Let's Play uh, in the 4X series. So let's go ahead and get in here. We're going to go ahead and uh, play now. Uh, I think we're just going to do random. I mean, there's, there's, there's several different leaders you can pick from, um, but... And if I, if I remember right, Dutch are usually one of the better ones to go with. Uh, they get, a, I think, a halfway decent ship at the beginning. But honestly, let's go random, see what happens. Um, uh, we could go Caribbean, which could be more of an island play. Uh, or we can go New World, which is going to be more continents, kind of like the North and South America currently is. Um, so I think we'll do that. And then... I'm okay with epic game speed. That's how we used to play our civilization games. So we're going to go and just keep that on the, for the colonization stuff. I think I am going to go ahead. Huge world. Why not? Let's just let's have fun with it. Let's just, just go all crazy with colonizing all sorts of new stuff. Uh, as far as the difficulty, I don't think I'm going to go quite to revolutionary. Uh, revolutionary dot dot dot. I'm sure that probably there's something else to that that is just not showing up. Um, Patriot. I mean, we could go all the way down to governor just to play it safe. Let's go a little crazy. I mean, I don't want to go super crazy with Revolutionary because it's been so long since I've played this game. And I actually don't know if I've beat it at one of these higher levels before. But we'll drop it down one level from what we would normally play a Civilization game as. And we'll just do Patriot. And I think that's going to be fine, challenging, and still fun. Uh, a leader named Broyer. Right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and jump in. While right-clicking on our transport, we'll automatically load units onto it. All right. Thank you for the tip. And we did get the Dutch. Well, looky there, because I think they do get a slightly better ship from the get-go. And it's not showing up here, but I do think that's in fact what happened. So let's, let's go ahead and read this. In the year January 1492, His Royal Majesty, the King of the Netherlands, grants you a colonial charter. For the greater glory of the nation, the King dubs the Broyer, Viceroy of the New World. Explore this new land, settle it, and bring wealth and glory upon yourself and our great nation. So to achieve victory, we have to found our colony. Okay, well, that would make sense. Declare your independence from the motherland after attaining a 50% rebel sentiment in all your settlements. Okay. Uh, and before time runs out, defend your fledgling country from the wrath of the motherland. Motherland, it's, it sounds like so weird. It's usually obviously very associated with Germany, but in this case, it's 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 accurate. Obviously, it's just the mother country uh, by wiping out all of their ground forces. You must complete your revolution before any other European country or colony, I should say. So yeah, there is obviously a time time um, uh, frame on this. You know, you want to get got to get before the end of the game. You got to be able to, you know, defeat all of their units. So you really got to be able to build up your military enough that you can take on their military. So let's go. So uh, we do have, you know, it's not the the isometric, um, it's not the hex game like you're used to with Civilization Six. It's just this, uh, you know, nine different directions on on the the whatever if you want to call it directionality. Obviously, that means the diagonally is is technically using one movement, but you're still going you know, the same same movement cost for a little bit further distance. Let's put it that way. Uh, but really, all we really got to do at this point is just go find some new land. So let's go ahead and just get over here. All right, I guess nothing's found. In turn. Uh, so I did have the tips popped up for now. Uh, and they may get a little annoying, and we may have to turn those off at some point, which we could do. But I just wanted to make sure I, I kind of remembered how to get back into the swing of things. Um, so if essentially this is just telling us that, you know, we use a, a colonist to found a, found a settlement, I guess. Um, okay, so the blue circles, just like in Civ 6, are going to tell us, you know, the ideal choices. And yeah, cool. Thank you. I will establish my colony. 
All right, so here we go. Oh, there's some crabs right here. That's actually probably a halfway decent thing. There's a uh, burial grounds. Probably something we don't want to go too near. Uh, I'm sure it'll make the natives unhappy. I'm actually thinking these woods right here might not be too bad. It's going to have silver next to it. It's going to have crabs. Um, let's just move our guys there. I think that's going to be fine. Um, lots of forest around, silver, crabs. Not really a good place for putting farmland, but maybe we clear out some of these woods and uh, that might work out. We'll see. I guess our ship can kind of keep exploring for now until we uh, need to send you back home. So let's just go ahead and automate your exploration. That's going to be fine. And yeah, in turn. Apache. Okay, they're going to be cautious. Probably going to be fairly large. This is going to tell us um, they're impressionable, indulgent. Welcome, I am Mangus Coloradus of the Apache. I pray that you and your people value peace as much as we do. Well, of course we value peace. Uh, I don't think we have anything we can trade. No, we don't. So farewell and exit. Uh, let's go ahead and build our first settlement. I, I think this is going to be fine. It's going to be on the coast. It's going to be important near those crabs, near the silver. A little bit close to the, the, the natives down here. Oh, it looks like we might be close to the southern coast here with all the ice. Um, but yeah, no, I think this is going to be fine. It's, I think it's far enough away from the natives that it's not going to be too much of a problem. New Amsterdam? Sure. We'll go with New Amsterdam. I think that's going to be a fine name. Uh, and so it's going to start telling us some recommendations. Um, warehouse gives us more good storage and a whole lot of other options as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the recommendation for now, but I'm sure at some point we will uh, wisen up and not go that route. So you can join the settlement and work as a as a uh, citizen. This is our soldier. Why are you got blue circles still? You can't surely you can't go out and uh, found anything. I think we're gonna do a very very light amount of exploration around here. Ooh, we could have come down here a little bit closer to the river. That might have not have been a bad idea. That ought to be something for our next settlement probably. Joining a settlement. Congratulations, you've established a settlement of New Amsterdam. In order to increase your settlement's population and production, you must join new units to your settlement. Um, I want to explore the new world for now. It's going to be fine. I'm not going to go too far. I do want to join up very quickly to make sure that we can get some stuff going. In fact, let's go ahead and jump into our settlement and see what we are actually doing right now. All right, so we have a unit, right? Our uh, colonist, or do we not? Oh, yeah, here he's down here. Uh, I'm not going to read all of this settlement screen stuff. I think we can figure out this stuff. All right, so currently you are getting silver. Which I guess is okay, as long as we're getting the amount of food that we need. Are we? Uh, I'm not seeing... Food. We're only getting one hammer at the moment. Which I think is just our base hammers. Oh, I guess we're getting two food, and we're also getting three... What is that? Is that coats? No, what is that? I'm actually not sure what that is. Is that three ore? It must be three ore or something like that. Uh, oh, here we go. Ore. Yep, definitely. Three ore, we're getting that. And then he's working two, the two silver at the moment, which we can sell for a lot of money. So I think farming that for a bit to be able to send back to the new world, or the old world, I should say, the motherland, is probably okay. Uh, we will have to swap him off of something at some point, but that is the recommended. So we'll go ahead and stick with the recommended for now. That's going to be fine. All right, so you're still kind of navigating your way around. Let's go ahead and just keep looking around a little bit. We're not going to go too far. We do need to, like I said, join you up with the settlement relatively quickly. There's some burial grounds. Probably want to stay away from those. We don't want to make the natives uh, unhappy with us. I think we're going to try and play this game being respectful of the natives. What is this? Apache corn. Oh, that must mean, I mean there's a, a village right here. Oh, we might be closer to the Apache uh, villages than I thought. Yes, we are. Well, then we definitely want to play nice with their uh, burial grounds, you know, have respect for the dead and all that. Uh, re religious unrest in the Netherlands has caused increased uh, immigration. A seasoned scout. Okay, well, we're definitely going to bring our soldier back then. Um... Greetings, kind sir. My name is John Adams. I represent the English, and I anticipate that we will have a peaceful coexistence. Really? We've already found uh, another another uh, colony. That's fascinating, actually, because I thought there was, I mean, this is supposed to be a really sizable map, but he's actually up here 
Maybe he'll cause trouble for the Apache and, and you know, we can just kind of ignore him a little bit. All right, so you're going to come back down here. And I think the ship is actually going to go ahead and go back to the New World. Let's go ahead and get you to go back and pick up our um, our scout because that scout's going to be able to help us out a lot with uh, doing some better scouting than the, than this guy would be able to do by himself. And, yeah, that's going to be fine. All right, soldier, go ahead and get in here. And I want you to join the settlement. Oh, not after you move. That's fine. Now you can join the settlement. All right, so you are currently working on fishing. And you come in effectively as a free colonist. So you're just a free colonist that had some, some guns. That's fine. So now we're actually gaining food. No, I think all of this is, is okay. Uh, we're very slowly building, but that's I think that's all right. Uh, maybe we should have sent some silver back, but by the time he gets back from uh, the Europe, we'll maybe have a fairly sizable load, so that's going to be okay. Congratulations, just increased the population of New Amsterdam. Three new uh, These new citizens can be assigned to work the plots adjacent to your settlement to gather raw materials. It makes sense. That's just like any civilization game. Uh, we can also assign them to buildings. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's one of the cool things about um, colonization. Ooh, force has grown. Colonization is that it's so, so tied into, you know, putting people on certain buildings to, to work them and things like that. that You don't really get that in the, in the civilization game quite to the same level. I mean, civilization, you can... Um, you can put people on buildings to, to increase the production and science and, and faith and things of that nature. But it, it, in this game, it's just so many more resources, which is one of the reasons why I really like this game a lot. I actually, I mean, granted, it's been, what, Civilization IV, I mean, it wasn't massively long ago. Um, but I would love to see, you know, another iteration of this game. I think that would be really cool with, with even modern stuff. I, actually, with the uh, Civilization VI rules with districts and stuff, that would actually make this game with kind of how this stuff plays out kind of a cool little deal but I don't see it happening but I, I've always been kind of a, a partial to uh, to the colonization side of things starvation are we really starving we are starving why are we starving oh because you're doing wood at the moment something is wood what we want I don't think wood is what we want will you swap over by yourself are you like alternating or something like that that seems a little odd just put you there and lock you in. I, I feel like we need to get the food. Make sure we have the food rolling in. We'll worry about the lumber at some point later. Alright. Next turn. Alright. One of your ships expected to arrive in Europe shortly. Okay, that's fine. That's another aspect of this game, which is kind of cool. Being able to send people back to Europe, doing for trade. Uh, and being able to pick up new types of, uh, of colonists and things like that, which is pretty awesome. So here's our merchantman. He's coming over here. We do have seasoned scouts, which come with horses. Horses are awesome um, because we can start putting them in our city and start breeding horses as well. So we're going to load you up with the horses. Is there anything else we want to grab? How much money do we have? We only have 100, 100 in our gold reserves. Yeah, I should have sent him with some of that silver after all. Uh, we can send him back here shortly, though. And that's one thing about the Dutch right here is that they have uh, four... Uh, cargo holds compared to, uh, I think everybody else has two to start off with. Um, so that's one of the benefits of having the Dutch, which is kind of cool. We're actually going to have another thing in a few turns. So, you know, what? we're going to wait a couple of turns and pick up one more guy and then send you both back at the same time. That's going to be fine. Uh, yeah, I know. Thank you. That's all good. Yes, I know. Thank you. Don't remind me again. I'm good. Trust me, I got this. Is that the English? Yeah, the English scout running around. Oh, he just picked up all those burial grounds. Or he's picked up this one. I mean, I could go for it and get some maybe money and stuff like that, but it's just going to make the natives angry with me. All right, so, oh, expert fisherman. That is perfect. That is exactly what we need because of the uh, the fish that we have, the crabs. That's going to help us out a lot. So let's go ahead and grab the scout, grab the fisherman. I mean, obviously, we could load up with even more. But this is going to be perfectly fine, and we're going to send you back to the New World. Yep, yep, I've picked up my first guy. I, I realize that. Pedro Alvarez Cabrera has joined John Adams. Okay. 
Uh, what is our Congress look like? Does it tell us like how close we are to getting somebody? Oh, it's Founding Fathers. That's what it is. Oh, that's right. We get stuff with exploration points as well as political points. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that would have been kind of good guy to have. It's been so long, man. Wow. There's religious points, trade points. Yeah, this is all really cool stuff. So many things that play into this game. All right, cool. Well, we'll come back to that as we play some more. Come on, ship. Get back over here. There you are. All right, come down to... Uh, where's my go-to? Isn't there like a go-to place button? Oh, I guess just whatever. I thought there was a go to like a specific like colony, but that's <laughs> that's that right there's fine as well, obviously. Like any other civilization game. Yeah, as soon as that fisherman gets here, we'll be able to move uh, this guy off of the fish because he's gonna make a whole lot more fish for us. Price of cloth in Netherlands has risen to twelve. All right, so let's check here. Is there anything we want to do? We could send back some silver and go in and get some more people. Um, not a terrible idea. We're going to definitely grab the fisherman. Can I just drag you? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, you're bringing in a whole ton of fish. Our other colonist is going to start just chopping some wood. That is fine and acceptable. And we're still getting a bunch of silver. Uh, and then you are actually going to go to... I forgot how I can, can I just land you over here? I guess you're just in the garrison. Okay, that's fine. And then as far as whatever, let's go ahead and load you up with the silver that we have. And that's going to be fine. When, when we send you back, we might do some more exploration for a bit. But when we send you back, you'll at least have some silver ready to go. As for you, actually, and I think what we're going to do initially, it's going to cost us some um, horses or some, some food, actually. But we're getting a lot of food. We're actually going to pull you off. I guess we'll have you chop some lumber as well. And that's going to get us some horses. And what that's going to help us do is... Actually, you know what? Let's go fur trapper. That's going to be fine. What that's going to do is it's going to allow you... These horses to start breeding a little bit. And... If we just get a few of these to breed, then we can put him back out there scouting around. And they'll continue to breed. And we'll just have you know, free horses, essentially. It does cost food, like I said. But that's going to be fine. Okay, you're going to go ahead and go back out on... Uh, automated exploration for a bit until we get under the notice that we have some more troops. Any citizens can be assigned to any profession by double clicking on them in the settlement screen and selecting a profession from the menu. Or by dragging them onto a tile or building. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. I forgot about the double clicking thing, but yeah, the rest of that is fine. Um, Colonists with access to tools can be assigned to the pioneer profession. That's right. Forgot about that. And that's how we uh, kind of be, are able to go around here and uh, improve things like uh, workers or builders in uh, regular civilization games. Um, you know what? We could go ahead and do this. Because I think we have we have enough guys to make a pioneer, don't we? We have tools? Yes, we do. So... Um, let's swap you two guys around. We'll just use you to... Uh, I want you to come, whatever, that's fine. I want you to come to Garrison, maybe? And I want you to be a pioneer. Perfect, so we're going to use you. I, I think we can improve the silver, maybe not. We'll, we'll kind of move you around and see what we can do with you. It's been, a, it's been a while, like I said, to see what we can actually improve with you. So how about you come down here, and we'll see if we can improve that at all. So we can build improvements. I will improve my land, obviously. Uh, we can build a lodge. Gets us more f lumber and more furs. Cost 20 gold. 19, wow, 19 turns. That's a lot. Build a road. Well, yeah, half movement point. That's fine. Chop down the forest. Gets us more food, less lumber, less furs. Plus some lumber there and we'll remove the forest. I mean, I think that's fine because I think we're going to primarily be farming this for the silver most of the time anyway. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's chop down the forest. 
Oh, no, we can build a mine. There it is. And it will remove the force, which will give us the... Unlike in Civ, uh, currently with the builders and stuff like that, it doesn't give you the lumber automatically right away. So this will chop the force first, and then it will give us uh, more silver uh, and more ore, actually, as well. So 27 turns, that's a lot of turns. But that's going to be all right. Uh, price of sugar has fallen. That's fine. We're not doing anything with sugar at the moment anyway. We have an expert ore miner. Ooh, that's going to help us with that. Uh, I know it helps us with the ore, obviously. But I, don't, I can't remember if he actually helps us with more silver or not. But still, it's going to be nice to have a guy like that. We'll wait till a couple more show up before we do anything else. It's probably a good idea to get another settlement going soon. Uh, actually, let's check our settlement. Come on. Oh, our horses aren't breeding yet. Um, is that because we're capped at the moment? Is our current cap 75? I don't remember. It might be 75. It might be capped at the moment anyway. So in that case, let's just have you go out as a scout until we get that thing built up. And um, that's going to be fine. And you're just going to kind of scout around, see what else we can find. Maybe find us another place to uh, to settle here soon. What is that? It's to hills with silver. You're definitely at the what appears to be the southern end of this this, <laughs> this continent here. Oh goodness. Um. I am Okanastoda, chief of the Cherokee people. There should be peace in our time. I don't think we really have anything to trade with you, so we'll just say farewell. Okay, um, could we, actually, could we come over here and just kind of see what you have? I think there's a way for us to come over here and, like, learn what you can teach our, our people. Um, what is it? Clear specialty, I don't want to do that. Sentry, I don't want to do that. Explore, it's not what I'm looking for. I thought there was a way to, like, figure out what you can teach us or something. Alright, we'll intern here for a second. Ah, there it is. Speak with Chief. Welcome to, uh, Kisk... I don't have no way I'm going to be able to say that. We are learned in the ways of Expert Trapper. Okay. We are in need of guns. Please share a peace pipe and we'll have to tell you a faraway land. So, trappers. Oh, does it tell us right there? They need guns and expert... Oh, perfect. I totally forgot that it told you that now. Because I remember way back in the day, I used to have to, like, write this stuff down and, like, have, like, a little kind of pseudo map of, like, where things were and what they wanted. I am glad to see that they, uh... That they now, um... Tell you right there on the map. Let's go ahead and make our way over here, then. Let's see what this guy does. Kind of go around and meet all the different natives and stuff. I think that's going to be good. Wow, we are on a... Uh, Oh, the Sioux. Really? This is a very strange little, little map here. Interesting. And again, there's, there's the English. They've already got two settlements. We, need to, we definitely need to get more out before they take up all the good land. So we'll have to... Maybe we'll send some other guys over with, you know, from Europe to settle up another one. Uh, I'd like to ask to speak to the chief. Expert trapper again, and they need coats. Okay. Let's just keep on exploring. Well, there's lots of deer, lots of forest, lots of stuff. So I think trapping is definitely going to be in our future. So having a couple places where we can learn that is uh, it's definitely going to be to our benefit. Master Gunsmith has showed up. Not really amazingly useful this early in the game, but it's always good to have one at some point. Um, how about you just make your way up to this one? Let's just kind of keep going from kind of native village to native village and just see what, what they can all teach us.
A lot of these early turns are going pretty quickly. Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada has joined John Adams. John Adams is really just getting all the different people, huh? Um, I don't know if that means that we're not able to get them at all or how that works. And does it tell us what exploration points we have at the moment? Reveals all tiles with burial grounds, reveals all tiles with ancient ruins, really. So John Adams has gotten all three of these guys, so that must be exactly what it is. We we don't have the option to get any of these guys at the moment then. Is this us? Like presumably we can come down here and maybe pick this guy up later or something? I don't I don't really know how this works. Provides one caravel. Nice. Maybe that's exactly what that is. Uh, yes, speak with the chief. Expert fisherman. Nice. That that could come in handy later for sure. Um, going pretty far away. Let's start moving our way back this direction. Again, kind of keeping our eyes open for a, another place to settle. I'm kind of leaning towards... Maybe along this river with all the the, the, um, the furs and things. I don't remember how far out your tiles can go. Does it show us here? I think it's just the, the, the 9 by 9 or the 3 by 3 the 9 tiles. So, then what's the benefit of him having this tile down here? And those two up there. Just more land that nobody else can get? I'm not sure. I don't remember. All right, we constructed a new warehouse in Amsterdam. What we'd like to build next, the dockyard would be nice because it would give us more food from this fish tile right here. Um, alt alternatives are you know, stockade, more, more uh, defenses. The fur trading post at some point will be very, very handy. Uh, stable, that's what it is. That's what gets us the, um, the more horses. So getting one of those relatively early would be good. Alarm mill obviously is going to be very, very good as well. Wow, we can actually just focus on these points as well. All right, I think first things first, dockyard makes perfect sense for us. It's going to help us with our crabs uh, that we have over here that can give us more food, so that's going to be fine. How many guys do we got in Europe at the moment? Two. We'll have another one in seven turns. I think when we get that third one, we'll send the guy back, and that's going to be fine. That's the other interesting thing about this game is that you always have to make a decision about do I use my my settlers to uh, or my not settlers but like the colonist type people to, to settle the city I've already got and make it better or do I just go send it out after another city which I guess is sort of how civilization itself works you're always you know losing a pop to go build another city but it's not quite the same I definitely think getting another city up ASAP is going to be very important for us though Did you just explore those burial grounds? I did not mean for you to, but that's all right. As long as the natives are not unhappy with us at the moment, I guess it's okay. Uh, Cool. Cleared the forest. Nice. Uh, You built a mine. Oh, it's already built a mine, huh? So let's look at here. Let's look at New Amsterdam. So that makes us three silver or up to four ore. Not too bad. If you get a, a miner or somebody over here, that's going to even help even more. So you convert. Oh, it's ore turns into tools. Ah, that's right. So lumber turns into hammers, ore turns into tools. Makes perfect sense to me. Got a lot of silver still. We've got a lot more silver now. Definitely have to come back around soon. I also want to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't cap out. I think it's, I think with the, the, um, what am I trying to say? I don't see our buildings at the moment. 
um, with the warehouse, I think it is, hey, there it is, it's telling us right there. Plus 150 good storage, so we have got quite a bit of space before we cap out, so that's going to be fine. Alright, you have built our mine, so I don't think you can come out here and build anything on that, so that's fine. Which one of these is that the, uh, the new forest or this other one that's going to be better for us? It looks like the, like these kind of wintry pine, um, are going to be quite a bit better for us for the, uh, furs and the lumber. So I think sending our guy over there and getting a uh, camp or whatever it was called set up is going to be the best bet. Yep, we'll go ahead and speak with the chief. Expert farmers. Nice. Don't have a lot of like really amazing farmland right here, but it's always good to find those where you can because those are um, definitely very helpful in the long run. All right, well, I think we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. We went a little bit long on this first episode just because it's a brand new game. I kind of wanted to get into the series a bit. But, uh, you know, next episode, we're going to go ahead and try and found us another settlement and uh, keep things going. I hope you enjoy this. If you enjoy this series, if you think this is kind of a fun, cool, different, you know, thing from all the, the newer civilizations, stuff like that, please, uh, you know, comment below or, you know, give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Just, you know, it helps me out quite a bit. If you don't like it, let me know. I mean, I, I kind of like to know those types of things. Um, that way I know, you know, to either continue playing this. Uh, I'm not going to keep this series going, but I won't. Whether I come back around to it, play it some more down the road, or, or if I don't, you know, kind of depends on you guys. So thank you again, and goodbye.